Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And another episode here on Monteith, Iowa. November 5 now. And, uh, boy. It's a bit close, eh, to start the day. Um, we've been busy today so far. About noon now, just turned noon actually. And, uh, we... I've been busy spreading lime. Um, last day with the uh, Pro Force spreader, and then we're returning it. Then we're gonna have to kind of figure out our options, of what we want to do for a dry spreader uh, moving forward. Um, but yeah, I've been kind of just been busy driving the tender truck mostly. We got worker going on. Uh, these fields so pretty much getting everything spread that we can that hasn't already been chisel plowed so and then like I said we might go back over or we might spread over the chisel plowed ground in the spring once it's kind of settled down a bit um because yeah it's no fun driving over chisel plowed ground with anything so gotta go slow and or else you just <laughs> jumping out of the seat pretty much so we are uh, working on getting the um the oak field it's right right now you can see the magnum going in the in the distance there right now and then we have to spread on the back soybean field there and then we'll be good also, these Jake Brake sounds on this International are the best. I haven't heard a Jake Brake sound this good yet. One, because they don't blow your ears out. That's one of the big things. <laughs> a lot of the Jake Brake sounds are so loud. But this one is actually quite nice. We'll hop over the spreader. We'll get them filled up again. Also, I have had questions about the mod, or how I just click from vehicle to vehicle. The mod is called Click to Switch, and I do believe it's on the mod hub. If I'm not mistaken. I love it, personally. It's really great. So this kind of takes a while to empty or unload, I guess. We'll jump to when it's full. When the when the pro force is full, we'll jump to that. All right, we are topped off. Hit nearest waypoint. Might just ride along for a bit. Um, one other thing I would let, that I want to get done in this episode is I would really like to um, get um, some things like landscaping and stuff done I was thinking that I was going to do it with uh, like what is that called terra farm or whatever this to make it like more realistic where you actually have to do it but I was having some issues with it so I think we're going to forego that and you're just going to have to forgive me for the bit of unrealistic um terrain editing and things like that um but yeah we're gonna do some improvements around the yard and i think i'm gonna get that on camera like i think i might just do it live like kind of show what i'm thinking type of thing um yeah 
I think I think that's what we're gonna do. That's gonna be kind of the big job for today. Uh, I don't think we're gonna do that until it's December. I don't know what's wrong with the weather on this series. Um, it's Eighty degrees with a high of eighty-four in November, the late November. So, but it looks like it's gonna kind of go back to normal come December. Be down in like the thirties, which is good. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be a big, uh, the big job. Um. We might end up selling our beans off actually to this uh, month because we are going to need some more income to do the things that we want to do around our farm. I kind of want to build a shop because we only have a cold storage building right now. It doesn't have heat in it. I would love to have a heated shop. Um, yeah, we're in Iowa. It gets chilly, so... Um, we might do that. I think we're going to possibly put that over kind of where we park the trucks, like the right side, east side of the cold storage building. I think that would be a good idea. We have the uh, quad track going in the background, if you can see it. We have sold um, two truckloads of beans already i know we're not selling them for the best price but we're gonna try and get the best price for our corn um instead of beans we just have to hold the beans for so long that it might be worth it to just sell them off right now let's check the price after we save once again um see prices where is that at right there soybeans are at 222 and we are in November goes up a little bit in December what's corn at right now yeah we want to wait till January it's so close we might as well get a premium price for our corn Oh, we were topped off. Might be able to do this whole field on one load of lime. That would be nice to not have to refill the spreader. Quite enjoy that. We'll, uh, I'll jump again to one more fall, and then we'll keep chatting. Uh, shoot, now I forgot what we were talking about. Um, corn, corn and bean prices, yeah, so we're just going to be selling off our beans right now, trying to get for just income, um, paying our workers, doing what we need to do around the farm, and then our corn will kind of be our big money maker at premium price come January and February. Probably could get it all trucked in January, I would imagine. Set up a course quick. There we go. Um, so yeah, we're going to need a little bit of money to do what we want to do. That's kind of the gist of it. Um, so probably after this, we'll probably jump to doing some trucking, which we might just jump to it right now. You guys have seen the lime spreading. It's nothing super special. And check the actual used market quick. Ooh. Baby. Look at that. It's a GMC general. This thing is slick. We should sell... Would love to sell our uh, our bison. 
Then we can get this one because this one's the new is the is the better version um, that Skywalker Farms did, and this thing is sweet. This thing is a really really nice truck, probably one of my favorites. That and that truck and the International and the Volvo, <laughs> those three trucks are probably my favorite. So we might actually try and get uh, get that truck. That could be a good purchase, huh? Could use a paint job, but you know we could spend some money on that this winter. Could keep us busy painting our truck, you know. That would be nice. But anywho, oh, Carl Farms also just released his 2018 Magnum. That could be cool to get on the farm as well. Is this is a newer version, I believe. This is like a 2020. 2021 or something, I think. We could use another tractor, I think. Um, either another tractor or a bigger tractor from our quad track. We can get through our tillage a little bit faster. We're not keeping up very well on the tillage. So, we're either going to get another tractor with another chisel plow or... And... Um, like a disc or something for fitting fields this spring. Or a bigger tractor, aka like a quad track or something for um and a and a bigger chisel plow and stuff, so kinda what we're thinking. But yeah, so I think we'll jump to when we're getting some beans trucked and uh we'll catch you here in a bit. Alrighty, so we are loaded up with our second load. Uh, this one should get us close to a hundred thousand, which I think should be enough for the landscaping and things that we want to do. I know that landscaping kind of costs, it, it, it's pretty pricey at times depending on what you're doing. But, it should be enough. We gotta remember that we can't be going to zero. Um, or else... Our workers are going to quit working. Which we don't want, so... We got the... Quad track and chisel plow moved to the field just south of the road. Cornfield. So, second to last cornfield, and then... So when that one's done, we'll move it over to this one, and then we'll be done with um, chiseling corn stalks for, for the year. So, should be done early December. Luckily, we do have this unseasonably warm weather, so we can actually afford to do that. Most of the time, the ground would probably start to freeze, and then it would be just a pain in the butt. Probably be breaking a lot of stuff if you try to chisel plow with frozen ground. Would also like to improve this area a little bit. That would be kind of nice. All of this stuff is just. I feel like it's not really set up for. rocks. You know? It seems like it's more of a. Smaller operation type of setup, which is fine, but one of those things where I think we could do with a little bit of improvement. I'm curious, can we delete these fences? Oh, we can. Ooh. So, oh, I think we're going to have the co-op probably purchase a little bit of land off us. Um, maybe for a turnaround. You know, maybe we could even create a new drive kind of through here. Where there could be a second drive. That would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? Or something. Something where we can just, yeah, I don't know, we'll figure it out. I 
kind of use some creative liberties here. That would be kind of nice, eh? Kind of nice that you can delete that, though. Now we deleted it. Now we actually have to make sure that <laughs> that we uh, are doing something with it, or else we got to put that fence back in and gate. Yeah, I think that would be kind of nice. There's just not enough room for trucks. And I think that would be kind of cool to put a dryer in. Either on our farm or up here. I know we've talked about it, but yeah, I would like to do that somehow for next year to maximize our profits. It would be kind of slick. If we put it up there, we could like kind of, I don't know. I don't really know what we'd do with it being up there, but we'll kind of look at it when we do some terraform or terraforming and stuff around our bins. See if we can fit a dryer in somewhere up here first. Then if not, we'll probably put it over there at the cell point. So, yeah, we're over 100k, which is nice. We're going to park up the truck again for now. I got to get that head inside the barn. Before it starts snowing on it. Don't want, don't want that. Alrighty. So, I think we're going to get all the equipment back, and then I'll see you in December for a little bit of upgrades for the farm. Alright, so we're over here at our bin site now. Um, it is December, it is snowing, so I don't think any of it's going to stick because it does say it's 50 degrees out, so. Um, but I tried to get a chainsaw at least, <laughs> and that caused the game to just like go all blurry. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that, but yeah, it just makes it blurry. I don't know, it's really weird. Um, yeah, so we're just going to use uh, Easy Dev and we're going to delete these trees out. Um. We're going to make a bit of a drive through. Oh. Yeah. There we found uh -oh. We'll see if that's a you're a bush I'm completely sure so we're gonna make a drive through here there um, we need to get this auger moved as well then I would like to level this ground out slightly to make it at least a little bit more friendly. That didn't to hold him. I know. It's not going well. have to do major leveling.
and smoothing. We're going to smooth this out. This isn't exactly going to plan already. Oh boy. The joys of terraforming. Oh, let's. I would technically I would really like to widen this drive as well. I think they all kind of need widened. That's kind of better. Then we need to put grass back. I like to use the circle when I'm doing my painting. Seems more precise. Doesn't leave the jagged edges as much, I find. Okay, and then we want it to put a drive in. See if we can plant the so deletes the that is it. Oh. Sunk beneath the ground. Fortunately. Because that actually might take some GE editing. Unless we think that we can find it. Right, right. There's one. See if we can get lucky here. There was another one. Fantastic. No. Okay. So that's going to need some... Well... I'm going to move this out of the way. Hopefully the Mahindra can pull it. <laughs> I don't know why I opted for the Mahindra over the just tractor that was sitting right next to the Mahindra, but... You know. Yo, let's go. Mahindra's doing it. Beast. A beast. We want to move it way out here too because I'm also planning on making a circular drive around the building. like a track one right through here gonna make it go a little bit of a curve we're not hitting the tree we're gonna paint grass have it come out all the way Taken away from our ground, but that's okay. I think we'll be happy to have a little bit more functional farm 
in the end. Just take it and try and keep a straight edge all the way up. Take out this field portion like that. We might need to add a little bit more. This still could be kind of tight. Pretty good, does it? We'll come back through grass. Should probably be playing our grass for Then we make our then we paint our track through grass. Do that way. Don't have to be as precise. We'll have to take a truck. I'd like to take a truck and kind of does all this connect it kind of here. That. Like that. Round it out like in case you want to round. Seems pretty relatively level. I think that's nice, actually. So let's run over here. Let's grab the Volvo and let's see what we think of it. This is our longest train here, so. The biggest thing pulling into hill. So we want to be able to come around. Yeah, I think we're going to like this a lot. This is really nice. Yes. Awesome. Our truck. We got to get a little closer. That is so much nicer. There, it took so much fiddling around to get these trucks loaded. Look at that. It's gonna be awesome. 129,000 liters of beans left. Truck. Might as well just fill it up while we're here, eh? While we're testing. That is going to be nice. Really, really nice. Pull out this way. Let's see what this 
like. Don't hit me. Nope. Yeah, that's going to be really nice as well. Look at that. That's great. We'll just pull on over here for now. We don't want to... <laughs> not going to sell this load at the moment. I mean, I will. I certainly will be selling it shortly. After we get all this work done. Yeah, that's going to be... That is going to be really nice. And then we can just do like a little... You know, maybe like a dirt thing out from here. That's nice. Yeah. I think we're really going to like that. And then... We can go to production. Let's see what a corn dryer is going to look like. So what if... Now I'm trying to think if we did this, we would have to be able to load it, right? Which is off the front. <sighs> and then we would want to be able to dump it with another auger right at the end. That seems like it's going to be, that could be really with this small space. You put it here, but you're right under a power line and you don't want to do that. I don't know, we might go without a dryer. Only place that I could think that we'd want to do this is right here. And we can maybe put an auger under here. Yeah, we might test that, but I don't know, we'll see. Don't have to have corn drying. It would be nice. Yeah, I think I like that a lot. That's going to be really, really nice for loading and unloading trucks. This is going to be our loading trucks. Obviously unloading, we still have a... Uh, the uh, auger, which will continue to just run our trucks in the field if we need to. That's fine. I'm not super worried about that. Yeah, I like that. I think I think I really like that. All right. So now this is our used GMC General that we just bought. We sold the Bison. Needs a paint job, we'll get that paint job done. But we need to move some equipment because we're gonna try figure out where we want to put the shop down now. this over to the other side. So this truck has like air brakes as well, which is for or I mean Jake brakes. No, which is cool. We'll leave that there. I know this is just all very, very random, but we're just trying to move the equipment so we can get some trees taken out and then uh, put that shop down. Thinking we're probably going to put it right there where the roller is.
We're just going to put this flatbed right here. That works. It'd be nice to be able to get all of our equipment inside, but I don't think that that's going to be possible, fortunately. some of the equipment if you don't hook up your lines like poles really hard I'm hoping that uh, next year with our being able to go through the whole process that uh, we're gonna have to bust out this third uh, trailer here for corn that would be really nice so now we need to run over, grab the 8920, move the roller, and then I think that's going to do her. Magnum is literally right in our way. Yeah, I would have loved to be able to park our, or back our trailers and our trucks into that cold storage. That'd be really nice. this across the road as well for now and to get everything out of the way Work. don't know if we'll need to move the rakes We're gonna have to move a tree. So we're thinking I'm thinking we're gonna use the Western Iowa shed. Or shop. I like that shop. I think we're just gonna go with the white. Not have enough money. What do you mean I don't have enough money? I'm thinking we're just gonna put her right here like that or we can do it here I think I like that or over here that's a lot of leveling we put it there if we it's not too bad. But I don't think I'm going to do that on camera. Because I don't know that I want to do that quite yet. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. But this was the big project. Just making us a little bit more accessible for our trucks. That's uh. That was the biggest thing. I'm oh, sorry, we're blocking your blocking your way there. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it, guys. 
probably the next time I see you, it'll be spring. I don't think we're going to be doing a whole lot. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. I just don't feel like you running trucks is the most interesting thing in the world. So probably when we'll see you, we're going to be starting up uh, field fitting in about February. Then we'll be planting. So saving the bane of my existence. Um, be planting probably a spring wheat or barley or oat. Oh, and then we'll be planting corn and corn and soybeans in April, and. Yeah, April. Oh, I didn't see that you could double crop. Probably could have double cropped if we had planted right in October our wheat or barley. So that's all right. So, anywho, um, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. I do appreciate you watching. If you're still here, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. Thank you so much to all of the channel members. Um, I really need to start remembering to shout you guys out because that is just amazing you guys are awesome i do seriously appreciate you um you spending your hard-earned money on me supporting me um just act it just means so much so thank you guys from the bottom of my heart i really do appreciate you um and we'll catch you in the next video